I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> We're gonna create the illusion of a beach house with these wall murals that have a big tropical beach scene, and that's gonna set the tone in there. Let's go hang it, kind of get where the horizon should be. Before we can trim them to size, we need to measure the space above the wainscoting. Where's our horizon line? Is it at the wainscoting? No, it's just above the wainscoting. So basically, you want it to look like this. He wants to leave the wainscoting, so we'll have sand that butts into wainscoting. I like seeing the beach. I think we're losing the best part of that picture and keeping the worst part. I want it to feel like when you come in, you're in a cabana. I didn't ever sign on for the cabana idea. We didn't have the same thing in our brains at all about what this design was gonna be. Move to the outside <laughs> and come off it. I wanted to walk into the room and feel like I was at the beach and not contained in a box. Plus the fact that we got a door and a window. When you're ever at the beach and there's a giant door and a giant window in front of you and not be in a building. You know, there's a reason that I want to put us in the box, not just because I want to look at Wayne Scotting when I'm on the beach. I don't want to be in a building. I want to be outside. You want to be in a building. You don't want to be outside. We're like at loggerheads now because I don't think there's a middle ground here. I don't really know what Kevin's problem is here. He's, he's being awfully grumpy and uncooperative. I think he needs to put his happy hat on and get on board. Come on, happy hat. Let's go. I think Walker's in the cabana right now, or is he at the beach? Junior's cabana thing is, uh, sucks But we're not gonna be out on the beach. It's the illusion of being on the beach. And then our sand goes right up to the sand, Jim. I'm forcing this one a little bit. Well, if you wanted to go full length on that, we wanted to rip the wainscoting off, this is what we're gonna be left with to try and wallpaper too. Let's go over it. Go over the wainscoting? I have a little bump. It's scary to force your design ideas, because if it turns out poorly, then you're on the hook. You know, I'm trying to see things uh, Kevin's way and uh, give him a chance to get involved in the project and, <laughs> you know, throw the dog bone. And I get to at least keep a wall for my cabana. It's actually just woven floor material that you'd put on a deck. We're cutting it to size, and then we're going to trim it out with some wood. So do you want to lay this out on the floor? Cut, Cut it. it out there. And now we can move on to putting up the rest of the mural. 44, oh, 40 and 3 quarters. But they're a bit of a pain to work with. They're 10 feet tall, 4 feet wide, and they have to be matched up exactly. The walls in there are all a little bit crooked. You missed the horizon. Our math skills and our attention to detail isn't always there, especially when Kevin's doing the measuring. The pictures aren't horizon synced, right? Who's your measuring? The measuring goes a little weird because uh, I think the, the the horizons on the pictures are a little bit different. My the measurements are still are the same. Synced. There's no way. Like I check my measurements again against my yeah. diagram, and they are right. The pictures are a little wonky. Let's go with the cabana because it's a cabana back here anyway, right? All right, I'm out of. You've you worn me yes. down. There's no way to hide that gap except by putting trim in there. Just had a compromise with Junior. He's got his cabana idea back in somehow, which is wrecking my whole beachscape thing. I think we get better projects when we test each other's ideas. I guess the compromise is either two winners or two losers. I look at it as two losers. It was great to actually like pop the door open for the beach. You could just feel the wave of heat roll out. So we tried to make this beach feel as authentic as possible. We had lots of different beverages on hand. The beer fridge worked really well. Nice cold cervezas coming out of the fridge with uh, limes and stuff like that. Hey man, baby. <laughs> the drink opponent really came together well. We made a little table, you know, kind of put a blender between us. Had some great drinks. The amazing thing about this is we don't have to go away on vacation to get this. It can be an hour here, an hour there, hang out for a couple hours at the beach. No matter what, we're warm. Mm. It's cold out there. It's warm in here, man. <laughs>